All right, Tim. Ah, oh, man. I applaud the fact that you stick to your guns and your principles. Um, you know I am personally more platform agnostic. I stick to what I need to to get my job done at the end of the day. I do computer work, so I need to know all three. People use OS X. People use Windows. Some very small minority that I've had projects work for use Linux. It all depends on the software that they need. Usually, if it's a second computer, I'll usually recommend they install Linux over Windows because the need at that point is different if it's a secondary computer. The need is not going to be, you know, gaming or the need is not going to be high-end video editing like Adobe Premiere, uh, Premiere Pro or, you know, it's not going to be some type of creative suite. It's not going to be that kind of stuff that they're doing on the secondary machine. So stuff maybe like the GIMP, Open Office, and that kind of stuff will work for them. Now for me, generically speaking, in my own personal preference, yes, I prefer the business model for open source. I prefer Linux as a platform. I use it where and when I can and for what I can. Unfortunately, the fact, sad fact of the matter is there is proprietary software that I do need to run. There are open source equivalents, but there are some features that I do need that aren't in those equivalents. GIMP, for example, has an issue with RBG. Um, that's just one example. You know, things like video editing. Yes, video editing has gotten better in Linux. There are things like Cinderella, Kane Live, and OpenShot. I like Kane Live personally. Cinderella is really powerful. UI sucks. OpenShot is getting there. I love the UI in OpenShot. Kane Live crashes too damn much. Even new releases, it pops, it locks crashes it's just not there and you know some people love you know will go for Cinderella to the hells and high water I don't use it because I hate the UI the UI is atrociously horrible in my opinion so instead you know I'll use something like Adobe Premiere or I'll use something like iMovie because it makes more sense. It's easy to use. It's not a hassle. It's not a pain in the ass. But personally, I actually use a um, online video editor because I run all three platforms, so I need the thing to be freaking cross-platform. A web-based solution is the best. Try it. Kaltura.com. K-A-L-T-U-R-A.com. It's great. It's actually open source. You can add it to Drupal, you can add it to WordPress, and you can add it to a whole bunch of other crap. And the UI doesn't make me want to gag. But this whole debate about, you know, Apple and OS X and Linux and, you know, all the companies behind Linux and, you know, Ubuntu and... It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you know, you talk about we're only going to be a free utopian society when we use open source software and Windows and, uh, and Linux. Or open source software and Linux. Problem is, with that logic, there seems to be a flawed understanding of human nature. We're self serving, we're only concerned about ourselves at the end of the day. So when we're presented with an opportunity, we're going to take it. And unfortunately, those opportunities become greed. Now, in that case, like in Microsoft, you know, paying off 
politicians or politicians being bought off. That applies to any government, not just here in the States. Here in the States, it's just more obvious. So, I don't know what to tell you, man. You know, if you understand human nature, we're greedy, we're selfish, and at the end of the day, there's never going to be a perfect world or a perfect human race, as it were, because we're all naturally flawed. It, so our software choices aren't going to change anything, and mindsets won't change. People will have their preconceived notions. People will have X, Y, or Z. So use what works for you. If it's OS 10, use OS 10. If it's Linux, use Linux. If it's Windows, use Windows. You can always recommend that people try it. And if they don't like it, that's their prerogative. But at the end of the day is what the user wants. And I'm not saying we all should sit here and, you know, roll a fatty and freaking sing kumbaya and, you know, hold hands. But at the end of the day, you know, coming from someone who deals with all of these, you know, things every time I work through computer work, I just want stuff that works. I don't give a shit which way it swings on the friggin' OS scale. And, you know, so, you know, I'll get people who will complain that they'll get a f document in DocX and they can't read it. Because, you know, it's a 2007 format, but they have Office 2003. Well, okay. So, you know, I download the, um, IBM Symphony form, or I'll download OpenOffice. Uh, if they're running uh, on an OS 10, I'll give them NeoOffice because it integrates better within the OS 10. Hey, look, DocX works now. Problem solved. But they didn't have to go and spend more money on their license. That's just a side perk. If it was 20 bucks for software like that, I'd pay for it. But I get a free alternative too. Is it a little drastic? It can be. You know, I don't need a whole office suite for Doc X formats, but you know, if it's on a secondary computer, I'm not going to make them pay an extra licensing fee because they can't read Doc X. It's just retarded. You know, and the UI is similar enough to the previous office version that they're not really going to miss it unless they're a power user. So, you know, it depends on the u end user's needs, and that is something that I see in these debates that gets lost in the shuffle. Is not every OS, not every piece of hardware, software, is right for every person. One size does not fit all for everybody. 